And like I said on my podcast, people think that I only use KDE. Sometimes I get so overwhelmed with KDE, I need to fire up my GNOME virtual machine just to get a little bit of peace. Because <laughs> it's, it's just... Works. Mm -hmm. it, like with KDE is like dolphin. Sometimes you right click to, to to Git pull or Git whatever because I have the Git plugins installed in in Dolphin. Mm -hmm. It just decides to crash. <laughs> Nautilus, Nautilus does not do that. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a lot of things that are very okay. Mm -hmm. GNOME just works. GNOME just works. <laughs> If you, the, the moment you start installing a ton of extensions, you're introducing uh, instability into right. a stable OS. That's that's a known fact. There are a few extensions that are that will always work. And I'm not talking about uh, Blur My Shell because <laughs> and Dash to Dock because those two uh, questionable. Uh, but other I... plugins like Caffeine and GS Connect, they uh -huh. will always work because they update their uh, extensions to, to, to work with the next major version a week before. Right, right. Uh, during the beta, beta stages. So don't install too many extensions. Use GNOME as... Me, GNOME is Mac, Mac OS. If you use it That's as right. it was intended to be used without modifying it, mm -hmm. it's going to be super stable. Mm. I'm not talking about the Way uh, Wayland part of things. I'm talking about the X11 part of things. Uh -huh. When you go to Wayland, then because Wayland itself is incomplete uh, <laughs> as of today's video, uh, you're going to introduce a lot of instability. Right, but if you right, stick right. to X11, which is tried and true and works, mm -hmm. you're not going to have any issues. So I'm like, I consider 0G. Zero, mm -hmm. zero g is the uh, more stable version of a Zero Linux uh -huh. because it uses GNOME. Mm -hmm. I just tell users, do not go willy-nilly installing extensions. You start installing extensions, it's on you. It's You're introducing instability to GNOME. GNOME is meant to be used that way and that way only. Right, but what about all the extensions uh, I, that you added? Those... I tell users, uh, like I told my users, uh, mm -hmm. GNOME 44 is coming on Arch. Disable uh, Dash to Dock, disable Blur My Shell, disable. I told them to disable a certain amount of uh, extensions. Right. Okay, that makes sense. Because the way I include extensions on Zero Linux, I build them from AUR. I ah, include right. them uh, from the extensions website. And I ship also extensions manager, because even if it's installed from the AUR, you can still update it from the extension manager. Mm -hmm. Uh, because the extension manager does not care where you installed your extensions from. Mm -hmm. That's the neat part of that uh, that application. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, disable those applications if you, uh, once the GNOME 44 gets released. Only update, uh, enable them one by one, and see if uh, they still work. If they don't mm -hmm. work, it's a process of elimination. Right. Enable it breaks. Disable. Enable it works. Keep it enabled. Mm -hmm. uh, that's it. That's all I. Uh, that needs to be done. But mm. uh, yeah, I included thirteen different extensions. Mm -hmm. uh, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> That's a lot of extensions. That's a lot. I know. Yeah, it's. Uh, I'll tell you which they are. Uh, no, not this one. Uh, nah, 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 nah. ISOs and tools. Zero G. I include Arc Menu, GS Connect, Blur My Shell, Dash to Dock, Caffeine, uh, Pop Shell, mm -hmm. Coverflow Alt Tab, Clipboard indica Indicator, Gestures Improvement, uh, Gesture Improvements. That's the one that mimics the gestures from Wayland to mm -hmm. X11. Arch Linux Update in Updates Indicator and Rounded cor uh, Window Corners. Uh -huh. Oh, the rounded has to be disabled for GNOME 44 <laughs> because uh, hasn't been updated yet. Uh, Arch Linux update indicator, I am in talks with the developer. So he said it's ready for GNOME 44. Mm -hmm. uh, gesture improvement just got updated for GNOME 44. Mm -hmm. Clipboard indicator, it doesn't, uh, it's uh, version agnostic. It's just enabling Clipman, <laughs> basically. Uh, GNOME Clip 
Word, whatever. Yeah. yeah, uh, yeah. Coverflow Alt Tab works. It got up, just got updated for GNOME 44. Pop Shell as well. And that's weird because Pop Shell is Rust now, 100% Rust, because it's Pop OS and mm-hmm. Pop OS move, moving to Rust mm-hmm. with their new desktop environment. Uh, so they I'm converted curious that to say what's going to gonna happen with Pop Shell. Like when they actually do, hey, but I just built it. I just built an update last night, uh-huh. and it's all Rust. It pulls from uh, cr- uh, Create IO. No, what I'm saying is because they're working on their Cosmic DE, which is separate from GNOME. I'm very curious to see what's going to happen, like a, maybe a year or two from now, when they're getting ready to start actually shipping, um, oh, shipping yeah. that on their their desktop. Um, Pop yeah, Shell is I'm, still I'm wondering that because... I don't know. Well, I don't know. I'll tell you. I'll tell you something mm-hmm. about okay. Pop Shell. It ships as a dependency, a power tool, uh-huh. you know, a pop, pop power menu, pop power tools, or something like that. Uh-huh. It's it's weird because it's 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 a battery monitoring thing. It's a why does it have it as a dependency? But I ship it because it is part of it. 